everyone to WMMA scene now coming to you again with yet another fight review uh, this time we're going to Invicta FC 30 Elise Anderson versus uh, Stephanie Alba in the Adam weight division uh, pretty good fight very actually is very good fight overall uh, with an amazing finish um, Anderson coming in at three and one, she hadn't fought since her uh, Invicta debut when she where she dropped a uh, fight to uh, Sheena Van Hoos. Alba coming in at three and two. Her last fight, I believe, was a loss to um, Ashley Cummins. Uh, big, big height difference in this one. Uh, six inch height difference, five five to four eleven. Uh, just. It's a huge, just huge height difference. I was actually, uh, so coming into the fight, I was expecting uh, Elise Anderson to uh, use her length and reach, which is something that uh, her team encouraged her to. And uh, but uh, Stephanie Alba was uh, able to get in some shots anyway. Um, about partway through the first round, uh, during an exchange, Anderson uh, poked uh, Alba in the eye with a thumb. Um, some good striking exchanges and then uh, Anderson decided that she was going to take it to the ground. Um, the round actually ended with Anderson on Alba's back fishing for a rear, rear naked choke. Uh, there was a lot of banter going back and forth. Um, just it was a... Uh, it, the first round just got real weird honestly after um, after Anderson got Alba to the ground because her mouthpiece fell out and then the ref was trying to didn't stop the action he was trying to like put her mouthpiece back in while the fight was still going on it was that was weird um and then someone one fighter's hands got stuck in another fighter's glove and it seems like there was some hands getting caught in hair it was just a weird first round but very excellent um Anderson got to Alba's back sunk in the body triangle and Finished the round looking fishing for the rear naked choke. Um, I had Anderson up after the first round. Second round, they, uh, they both come out. Both start striking again. Um, Anderson again looking for the takedown. She gets a real fast takedown, but Alba's able to get right back up. Anderson tries to go for uh, Alba's back from standing. Uh, doesn't quite get it. So they're doing some good clinch work. Uh, some real nice foot stomps from Anderson. You know, you don't see a lot of those anymore. But uh, real nice foot stomps. Uh, eventually, it got where Anderson had her back against the cage. And she she has a clinch. She has over-unders. Jumps up. Pulls a very extremely high guard. Immediately gets to the triangle. And sinks in a triangle choke. Um, eventually, they get down to the ground. And Anderson takes, snakes her arm around Alba's leg to flex it out and try to bring uh, Alba off her base. Alba throws one punch, uh, starts to throw another punch, and then that's actually when you could tell that her arm goes limp because she stops moving. Uh, Greg Franklin goes, uh, checks her arm. He's like shaking her arm, making sure. I mean, which again was another weird thing out of uh, referee Franklin. All he really had to do was lift it up and drop it and see what happened. Um, so Il Stephanie Alba was, un you know, choked unconscious, stopped, stopped the fight. Um, Alba was out pretty bad. I mean, she when she came to, she had no idea what was going on. Uh, Anderson just had this look of, I mean, she fell to the ground on all fours, and then uh, when she sat up, just had this like look of jubilation like she had been or like redemption on her face it was a amazing moment uh, an amazing amazing finish uh, let's go on into uh, things to work on uh, you know Stephanie Alba she fell to three and three uh, she's 36 and she's four foot eleven there are some things that I think that she's are just going to be impossible for her to work on. One of them being that you know she's that short. 
Granted, she's in a division of short people, but I think when she goes against the uh, unusually tall girls like Anderson for the division, that's always going to be a problem for her. Um, I thought she actually did very well, though. It, it was just that she had trouble dealing with Anderson's uh, length and reach. Elise Anderson much improved over her fight against Shino Van Hoos. She, uh, in, in that fight, you know, she would take Van Hoos down, but Van Hoos was more aggressive from the bottom, which allowed her to uh, win the fight, that fight in the judges' eyes. Um, so, very, just a lot of improvement overall. Um, her striking looked better. Her clinch work looked better. Um, you know, working at uh, Team Curran and with Felice Herrig definitely did wonders for Elise Anderson. Matches to make. Um, so, Anderson definitely... Uh, set notice to the Adam Waits in Invicta that she is uh is back and proved and a force to be reckoned with. Um I would like to see her possibly matched up next with the uh, one of the other Adam Waite fight winners in tonight was um Alicia Zapatella. I think that would be um a very good matchup. Um I'd like to see how Zapatella who's around the same height, you know, five eleven or four eleven five nothing. Uh, I'd like to see how she does against someone with Anderson's reach, and I'd like to see how Anderson deals with uh, Zapatella's power and wrestling pedigree. For Alba, coming off, so she's coming in off two losses in a row. Um, match her up, I would say, with uh, the other Adam Waite. One of the other Adam Waite losses in, of tonight, either uh, Mina Grisander or Jillian DeCourcy. Um, both are options. Um, I prefer to uh, match, you know, someone who lost against another. It, yeah, it sucks to get, you know, multiple losses in a row, but it does help to get another fighter back on track. Uh, that's all I really have to say about this fight. I thought it was an awesome, uh, excellent fight. Uh, amazing finish, of course. Uh, guys, let me knew, know what you thought about in the fight down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, as always, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMMA Scene Now, the fastest growing w women's mixed martial arts platform on YouTube. Have a good night, guys.